Life is Strange, Themes, and Small Details Life is Strange is a game filled with little hints and artistic themes. I'm going to go through all the ones I've noticed to help bring understanding to the story so far. The color blue. There is a very particular shade of blue used through the game. It stands out pretty well. Chloe's blue hair being the easiest to remember, but also the blue butterfly and the blue jay, both animals that can fly with wings and are associated with appearances of Chloe. The same shade of blue is on Max's wristband, Kate's marker, and Chloe's mother's hair. Eye of Provenance. This symbol is seen several times, and I think Chloe is the one who drew it. As evidence of it being in her truck, in scenes where it appears, it always is framed perfectly to make it look like it is watching the events unfolding. This symbol represents being watched, a theme that is carried through the game by way of security cameras, sex tapes, and the end scene showing VHS boxes with girls' names on them. In the real world, it can be associated with the Freemasons, the Illuminati, and the Eye of God. The Lighthouse. The symbol of the lighthouse offers guidance, salvation, and safety. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. The beginning and end of the game show the lighthouse being destroyed. Images of the lighthouse show up through the game as well. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Vortex. In this game, it is a symbol of destruction and being sucked in. The Vortex Club seems to represent some sort of perpetual social pressure to be part of their club, and anyone in it seems to be bullies, and anyone who defies it are hurt. There is also a giant hurricane that will destroy the town. Spirit Animals I use Spirit Animal as the best way I can describe it. There are a few characters in the game that are associated with animals. Kate is associated with the squirrel. There is a squirrel in front of her when she is sitting outside the dormitories. The fact that this squirrel counts as one of your optional photos seems very relevant, considering there's a videotape of her being assaulted spread around the school. Max is associated with the deer. Her shirt has a deer on it, and her guide at the end of the game is also a deer. Chloe's animal is blue animals with wings, aka the blue jay and the butterfly. In the future, Max sees a huge cyclone about to hit town. In chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of a deterministic, non-linear system can result in a large difference in a later state. The name of the effect, coined by Edward Lorenz, is derived from the metaphorical example of the details of a hurricane being influenced by minor perturbations, such as the flapping of the wings of a distant butterfly several weeks earlier. In simpler terms, the flapping of a butterfly's wings can cause a hurricane down the line. So if Chloe is the butterfly and the hurricane happens in four days, and this is the first major chain Max does with time travel, does that mean that saving Chloe's life causes the hurricane? Maybe the hurricane was not a dream, but Max using her time traveling powers to fix a mistake she made. But using her powers to go back that far made her forget the events that led her to the hurricane. Does Max need to let Chloe die in order to save the town? You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free.